picture this. You have just launched your app, everything is running smoothly and then bam, a major security breach. Suddenly, your user's data is exposed and you're scrambling to patch things up. Sounds like a nightmare, right? But what if I told you that there is a way to prevent this from happening before you even write a single line of code? That's where threat modeling comes in. Today, we are going to talk about how we can predict and prevent potential threats to your system long before they hit. And trust me, you want to stick around. This process can save your project from turning into a disaster. Okay, so what exactly is threat modeling? Simply put, it's a process of identifying and analyzing the risks and threats that can affect your system, app, or network. It's like being a detective, but instead of solving crimes, you are preventing. There are two ways to approach threat modeling. The first one is proactive approach. The second one is reactive approach. Let's break it down. Coming to the proactive, you get ahead of game. You think about all the possible vulnerabilities while you're still designing the system before anything goes live. And coming to the reactive, you're cleaning up after the fact. Something went wrong. And now you're chasing down the issue that already caused the harm. With proactive threat modeling, you're looking for issues before they even happen. Think of it like fortifying your uh, house before a storm hits. For example, when designing your app, you can ask yourself, what could possibly go wrong here? If you're making your payment system, maybe you add an extra layer of encryption to prevent hackers from stealing the credit card details. But let's be real. Not every threat is predictable. No matter how careful you are, sometimes things slip through the cracks. And that's where the reactive approach or a threat hunting comes into the play. This is where you go on hunt for the threats that are already active in your system. Now, reactive approach are great at finding problems once they have already surfaced. The world of ethical hacking, penetration testing and first testing. First testing in particular is like throwing a bunch of random inputs at your system and seeing if anything breaks. It's stressful, but it works. So how do you actually build a threat model? Imagine it's a roadmap for your app security. A good threat model includes the key components. So let's go ahead. The first one is description of your system. What are you trying to secure? The second one is assumptions. What could change has threat evolved? The third one is potential threats. What could go wrong? The fourth one is mitigation strategies. How will you deal with each threat? The fifth one is validation. Did you fix work? Did you miss anything? To get more structured, there are frameworks like a Stride, Hill Chain, and Attack Trace that help you systematically brainstorm threats. These techniques help you focus on most likely risks without wasting time on uh, unlikely scenarios. Here's the kicker. Threat model doesn't stop after design phase. You should, you should be revisiting your threat model throughout the life cycle of your project. Everything you add a new feature or changing your infrastructure you introduce a new potential threat. It's like rechecking the locks of your door for every renovation. Want an easy way to organize your threat model? Try the four questions framework. The first one, what are we working on? What's the scope of the project? The second one is, what can go wrong? Identify the possible risks. What are we going to do about it? Plan your countermeasures. The fourth one is, did we do a good job? Review and validate everything. Now, I know it sounds like a lot of work, but trust me, it's totally worth it. When done correctly, threat models give you a clear picture of risks, helps you prioritize security improvements and ensure you make decisions based on the facts and not fear. The benefits, it's huge. You get peace of mind, better security, and you can even use your threat model as a tool for your compliance and regulatory reporting. It's not just about fixing the problems. It's also about making informed strategic decisions. There you are. Threat modeling isn't just for security experts. It's for everyone who wants to build robust security applications. Make sure you incorporate threat modeling into your workflow. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, got any questions about uh, threat modeling? Drop them in the comment section below. Thank you very much.